Hello everyone, this is Daniel Gray from SoulEats.com. Welcoming you to Full Metal Chopsticks. It's my food show where I talk about great food in Korea. So, it's going to be my first show and I just wanted to first start with some help and suggestions for people that are coming to Korea. So, I mean, there are many people that are familiar with Korean food, well, mainly Koreans, but people that are not so familiar, I don't know, it's kind of like a, a big, huge wasteland of all sorts of different stuff. And there's a lot of really weird looking foods here, and people just don't know what it is. For example, something like dukboki, you know, it's like the spicy rice cake noodles in the broth. Some people think that it's tripe, you know, and I know some people are not so into something like tripe. So, that's just the way things are. So, I wanted to give you some tips about you know, traveler friendly foods that people can start to get into. So first thing I would say, if you're coming into Korea, you take that long flight from wherever you're coming from, let's say New York, or you're coming from like Singapore or Australia, wherever, you know, you want to have like a meal that's not going to disappoint you. And keep in mind, this is not for people that are like hardcore into Korean food, you know, just, you know, I'm trying to get some easy sort of stuff there. So. The first thing I would probably suggest is uh, brugogi. It's a very ubiquitous sort of dish. You can get it everywhere. So if you're getting off the plane and you're hungry and you don't know what to order and you're just like, brugogi, and someone will point you in the right direction because Korea is a friendly country like that. People are cool, man. I really like Korea. So brugogi, it's like thinly sliced beef. And what they do is they'll marinate it in usually like fruit juices, like sesame oil, um, and some uh, soybean, um, soy sauce and stuff like that. It's And then they'll like uh, add some vegetables like uh, green onions and uh, just regular onions to it. And it's a very like savory sort of dish. It's well balanced. It's really easy to eat. It goes really well with rice. And one of the best ways to eat this is to make sam. Sam is like a wrap that you can make. It's a lettuce leaf, you take some meat, you add some uh, samjang, it's like this uh, sauce sort of thing to it, and then uh, wrap it all up with some, uh, maybe a clove of garlic if you're brave, or some chili. Wrap it all up and eat it. It is delicious. It's really, really good, and you won't be disappointed. You can have it with rice, you can have it with kimchi, all the side dishes and stuff will come out. Uh, two ways of doing this. So do it like on a, a round pan, um, and that's like just the regular way of doing it. Um, and they'll do it over charcoal or they'll do it in tukbegi. Tukbegi is this like glazed and uh, fired pot and then they can put all the, um, the stuff inside and boil it. And so it's more like a soupy sort of uh, broth sort of thing. But you really don't want to eat the soup. It's more like the flavoring for the meat, okay? So the second dish that I would recommend for people coming new to Korea is dakanmari. Dak means chicken, hamari means one thing. So it's one whole chicken boiled in a pot, usually with some potatoes, onions. It's like a really nice, subtle uh, chicken broth, and um, it is just delicious. So if you like chicken soup, and I don't know any culture well except for those that don't eat meat or anything like that, um, that don't like chicken soup. Chicken soup is just delicious. Now, it is a little bit different because they don't do things like adding celery and carrots and all sorts of stuff like that. So it's got a it's got a more natural sort of flavor. Actually, one of the interesting things about the dakanmari in Korea is that they actually use uh, oriental herbs like uh, briars and hwangi, it's like golden root, um, and uh, other, um, other oriental herbs in there that will fortify the soup. And that's what's really important in Korea. So what happens is this thing will come out and you put the chicken in and it's going to boil and you cook it all the way uh, through and then afterwards you can have some of the uh, the broth with um, uh, you have some of the broth with um, you know just some chicken and you can make your own sauce as well um, the sauce is just like uh, green onions with red chili paste maybe some mustard and some soy sauce it's really important to kind of mix it all up take the pieces of chicken dip it in there and then eat it really good stuff. And the great thing is after you eat all the chicken, uh, you still have some of the broth left over. You can add noodles to it um, and you can make like a delicious chicken noodle soup. It's awesome stuff. Definitely really something that you got to try when you're here. I would actually, some people might argue and say that, you know what, I think you should probably do samgyetang. Samgyetang is chicken and ginseng soup and they stuff the rice inside. I find that for many people this is just kind of like it's Dakamari part two, you know, it's like the second level. You like this one dish, you can do the second one and boom, you will really, really like it. So, um, and chicken and, and ginseng for a lot of people, it's like medicine. So it's kind of wrapping your mind around that whole concept that food can be medicine, you know, which is a very important thing about Koreans. So 
the next dish I would really recommend is sundubu. Sundubu is a soft tofu stew. It's like comes out bubbling hot. What they do is they take um, silken tofu and uh, they put it in a, a, a you know like a broth. They make like a chili oil and a seafood broth with clams and shrimp and other stuff. And then you add the um, soft tofu with some vegetables and cook it up. It comes out bubbling to the table like bubbling, like a cauldron bubbling. And so what you do is you take like a um, an egg and. I'm telling you, man, I, I screwed this up before. You take the egg, crack it into the uh, the bubbling soup, and it'll cook very quickly. Don't worry, you're not going to get salmonella or anything like that. It's cool. You're not going to get sick. It's good for you. And uh, it just adds that creaminess the texture to it. Really, really good stuff. So sundubu is another great dish to have. If you don't like spicy stuff, they do a white version of it as well. And there's some restaurants like uh, Changdam uh, Sundubu, they'll do like all sorts of different versions of it. You can get curry, you can get uh, tripe, you can get spam and cheese, anything you can think of, they do it with this um, soft tofu. And, um, you know, if you're used to having, like, um, creamy sorts of foods and um, that soft, silky sorts of foods, things like, if you like puddings, this is a great dish for you to try. Okay? Um, another great dish you should try, um, I would recommend, of course, Korean fried chicken. It's very easy to find everywhere. Just go, find it, do it. Uh, you're going to like it. I would actually recommend just getting the regular fried chicken and getting the spicy sauce or the yum yum sauce on the side because the the chicken's really hot. So if you um, put it in the sauce, it ends up becoming very like um, it becomes very soggy. And I don't really recommend that. A great place for fried chicken is Hanchu. Hanchu is over by um, uh, uh, Karasukil. It's um, across the street from Hyundai uh, High School, down a little alley. I think it's run by Gangster or something. It's a really, really cool place. Great fried chicken. Or there's another place in Gyeongdong, Xijiang, but it's a, it's a little sketchy, I have to tell you about that. Um, finally, another dish. Great thing that you should probably try is galbi tang, especially if people want um, like a really, really good soup. You have to understand, Koreans are really good at soups, like excellent, excellent at soups. They come out bubbling, bubbling hot, and, um, you know, it's just like the broth is excellent, and then you get the, uh, this, you know, you get the meat and everything else. Um, you see the, you know, they'll have some kimchi or something, so it kind of balances it all out. It's a great meal to have, especially with a bowl of rice. I know that might sound weird to have soup and rice, but it's just a really perfect combination of a meal. Very filling, very satisfying. Um, it's, you know, it kind of hits me at home. You know, it's just like, wow, this is comforting stuff. This is Daniel Gray from SoulEats.com welcoming you to uh, the first edition of Full Metal Chopsticks and um, my food show about all the great things that you can eat in Korea. If you come to Korea, come check me out. Um, I run food tours at ongofood.com uh, and through my website SoulEats.com and you know, I write and produce and do all sorts of fun stuff in Korea. You see all about food. And that's why I'm a kind of a fat person here. Honestly, I'm probably the fattest Korean person you will meet. Most Koreans are skinny, I guess. Cheers. All right. Thanks a lot. Bye.